Hey everyone, Cody here with another Proto Tech Tip. And today I'm going to go over the Move Face feature in SolidWorks and why you shouldn't use it if at all possible. So here at Protocase, we can accept a pretty wide variety of 3D file types for your custom designs. Any file type that can be imported into SolidWorks, we can use. There are a few gotchas to keep in mind with this, however. When you import another file type into SolidWorks, you lose access to what CAD users refer to as the feature tree. This feature tree represents all the features you placed in your model, such as countersinks, holes, flanges, etc. So when we import a non-native file into SolidWorks, this is what the feature tree looks like. If this is a sheet metal part, at the time of importing, we do not have access to the sheet metal features which control things like sheet thickness, bend radius, bend allowance, etc. So this can be a problem because now we are unable to flatten the part to create what we call the flat pattern. This flat pattern is used to create a DXF, which our laser will use a cut out of a piece of sheet metal. In order to get a sheet metal part, we need to make sure the thickness of the part matches the gauge of the material we are using. But how do we do this without having access to the native sheet metal features? We use what is called a move face command. This command allows you to select faces and do exactly what the command says, move them. We can offset, translate, or rotate. The two types that we use here at Protocase are Offset and Translate. Offset does exactly that. It offsets the selected faces to a certain value of your choice. This is how we would update the sheet thickness of an imported part. This is also the most commonly used type of move face at Protocase. Translate allows you to grab a selection of faces and actually move them along a certain direction. This is particularly useful when we need to increase the length of a flange on an imported part. Since we don't have access to the flange feature itself, we can grab the ends of the flange and translate them by a certain amount to get the length we are looking for. So while these commands are particularly useful for us to use with files that we import into SolidWorks, here's one main takeaway for you. We do not recommend using the move face command when you're designing in SolidWorks. The reason for this is we should already have complete control to all necessary features on the part already. There's no need to add additional features to control something that already exists. We know your time is valuable and you're busy trying to keep up with your project deadlines. If you're designing in SolidWorks, there's no need for you to use the move face command. Save yourself a step. That's all for this week's Proto Tech Tip. If you've got a design that you want quoted for us to quickly manufacture, use our request a quote form which we've got linked below. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you back here next week for another one.